to Studio 10. Now lots of things happening in Montgomery this legislative session and it's the topic of this weekend's perspectives with Eric Reynolds. He joins us this morning on Studio 10 to tell us more about it. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Chelsea. Excited to have you. Now Thank this you. is a really, really big topic. A lot going on right now in Montgomery. It is, you know, in so many different areas of concern and mm -hmm. we send our legislators up there to hopefully make things happen that we want to see changes in or new things added. And Two or three of the topics we talk about, we'll get to those, but the first one I wanted to mention that I thought was very interesting, uh, Alabama State Representative Barbara Drummond, of course, representing a portion of Mobile. She introduced this bill for the business community called the uh, Mobile Bill that deals with, uh, let's say, an example of, you know how the little doggy uh, businesses, they go out and do the mm -hmm. dog grooming and stuff? Well, this was for the hairstylists and barbers and other businesses like that. They could do the same concept to deal with the situation during the pandemic. And so that's one that uh, she has worked hard on and pushed it through a few of the committees and now it should be something coming down. So they'll have that opportunity to be out in the business mode during whatever pandemic or natural disaster that may happen like this. Wow, so that could be super helpful. And of course, she's going to give us some input on she that, will right? Indeed, yes. In fact, um, she's very uh, up on that as far as how to find ways to help the business community work during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but also on education. They passed the most uh, I guess the largest bill ever for education and for the state of Alabama. So we talk about that, where the money should be going, where they want it to go. Uh, one of the big things, the incentives for STEM educators to come to the state or be hired from the new uh, fresh bats, so to speak, from the colleges, as well as the incentives to keep them here too. So. That's one of the biggies that uh, they are both excited about. I mentioned Representative Drummond. We also have Senator Greg Albritton on. So he talks about what's going on in the Senate on some of these things too. Yeah, and so two big things that we've talked about a lot here on Fox 10 New mm -hmm. News, Anaya's Law and the Lottery, a big, big topic in Montgomery. It really is. And Senator Albritton, now two years ago, he proposed a lottery bill and it didn't make it out of the committee. But interestingly enough, the one that uh, Senator McClendon that everyone's dealing with right now, it's basically the same bill that Senator Albritton did. Few little minor adjustments, and so he talks about that. He talks about the differences as well as what is the problem of getting it past both the committees, the vote on the floor, so that voters can decide what they want for the state. So we talk about that. He shares his perception of it because he says, you know, everyone comes there from mm -hmm. their own area of the state representing their constituents. And so you've got to find a way to iron these things out so that it can eventually get to us, the voters. And what we were just talking about, Eric, the, this process is ever changing with amendments to these bills and laws. So you're going to keep us updated on that. But I think this perspectives is going to be really neat. And the fact that we get to hear their perspective. We do. And of course, you know, they up in Montgomery for three days a week. So we work around their schedule to get them here to talk about these things. And I mean, immediately after talking to them, they were headed back to Montgomery right. to do some more of the uh, negotiating and finding ways to make these things happen and uh, I think when you hear some of the education bill discussion that's really good because Senator Albritton talks about the other federal money mm -hmm. that's still to come so there should be some great things happening because one of the things they always talk about is we don't have enough funds to do some of the things we want to do in education so hopefully this is going to be an outstanding year these next two years of putting this money in those critical areas. That's right. And you can hear all these details for yourself tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we'll be here at 9 a.m. Of course, right here on Fox 10 after the news. And if you miss us, please check out these legislators on our website as well as our YouTube channel. All right, Eric, yeah. thank you so much. You, we'll Chelsea. have all the details. Happy Friday to you. You too. Well, big weekend ahead, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. All the details tomorrow morning right here on Fox 10. Gianni.